What is going on everybody, Arkendry here with a new episode of What Went Wrong. On today's episode, we have to talk about what went wrong with Bungie. Now, I know that a good portion of Bungie we all grew up loving isn't even part of the current team. Most original Bungie staff is either still at Microsoft and works for 343 or is spread across the gaming industry. But there is still a core group of people still a part of Bungie we, we, we know today. Bungie right now is not in a good state. Things were bad with Destiny 1 and by the end of that game's lifespan, we thought good things were coming with Bungie and then looked on, you know, on, on the up and up. And then Destiny 2 came out, we saw the, the videos for that, and then it, again, it looked like it was going to be on the up and up, it's going to be a very good game. But instead of, you know, Destiny 2 coming out and we all become amazed at what Bungie has given, given to us, things got bad, and it got worse, and it got worse, and it got worse, and it got and worse. I can tell you about the huge, you know, drop-offs in the numbers of the player base. I could tell you about the Eververse. I could tell you about the canceled and rushed development. But you already know those stories. Those stories are how we got to this video today. So let's rewind a bit with Bungie as you know, they have literally shown how the mighty have fallen. Now, they created my favorite game of all time, Halo. Most of us that played Destiny played Halo. We invested in an original game because it was Bungie. They made five games we love playing from Halo CE to Halo 2 to Halo 3 to ODST and to finally Reach. We spent hours upon hours with those games. So much so we felt like our hearts are a part of Bungie's hearts, which in turn was a part of the games themselves. We the fans and Bungie, the developers, turned Halo into not just a video game, but a legend. With the likes of Pac-Man and Mario, or Sonic and Zelda, and so on. So fast forward to now, the present. How does a company that was so beloved and so talented become the company we know today? On that day, Bungie announced that they entered a 10-year publishing agreement with Activision. From that day, basically knew Bungie sold their souls to the devil. Only thing worse than selling souls to the devil is becoming part of EA. But that's a tale for a different day. When Bungie agreed to join Activision, they agreed to rushed, unfinished games. They agreed to not having the resources they, they need to, and the time they need to make games the way they want to make those games. They, they agreed to ambitions that cannot be executed and completed. They, they agreed to, to dumbing down their, their games into a microtransaction field bore fest. What, what went wrong with Bungie? A 10 year publishing agreement with Activision is what went wrong with Bungie. Bungie would have been better off if they stayed a private company or if they had stayed with Microsoft. Even if regardless if they would not be working on Halo anymore, if they stayed with Microsoft, at least they would have been, you know, with a publishing team that they could trust, that, that they knew. They can build their Destiny, because Destiny was a thing before they even joined with Activision, because if you play ODSC, there's posters that will show, you know, the idea of Destiny. So Bungie was going to do regardless. If they stayed with Microsoft, maybe this would be, be a better game than it is now. You know, I hope for the best for Bungie. They have not entirely lost my faith. I hope that they you know, take some time and I hope Destiny 2 you know, rises from the ashes. There is still plenty of time for this game. They can you know, fix the mistakes of basically putting majority of their game content into Eververse. They can fix Trials not really having a, pur a purpose of going flawless. They can fix the raid not being fun. I believe you Bungie. There are plenty of us that's, that's been here with you since day one when it comes to Halo. People have been with you since Marathon. That believes in you. That, that thinks that you still have you know, the, the, the brains and the, the knowledge and the gift of turning Turning this game that we thought would be an amazing game into what we wanted it to be. You know, Destiny has not even been out for a year yet, so there's a lot that this game could do. Destiny 1 had a rocky launch, but by the time Taken King came out and Rise of Iron came out, different game. You know, there's another game out there that had a rocky start, and right now is a really good game, and that's The Division. A later day, I will talk about, talk about The Division and where it is now based on where it started off at. But when it comes to, to Bungie and Destiny, a lot of things can happen with these with Destiny and with, with Bungie. So I don't, you know, hate Bungie. I don't feel like Bungie is this complete failure. I feel like Bungie, you know, they, there's a there's something there. You can you can turn around, you know, and become the same company we all fell in love with when, back with Halo C. You can create that. You can turn Destiny 2 into the game that we all want to spend time into. I haven't played Destiny 2 since October because the game has just been not fun. Is dead in new content that came out to try the, the whole little Osiris little DLC. I saw the reviews of that and I was like, not buying it, not buying it. So I I hope the best when it comes to both the game and the developer. But as of right now, what went wrong with Bungie is becoming part of Activision. Activision, you know, they don't care about the consumers. All they care about is you know that money. All they care about is getting their products out so they can make that money. So you're going to have rushed out games, you're going to have buggy games, you're going to have games that are just filled with microtransactions and know what's going on when to play them. With all that said, that's it for the video. Leave any thoughts you have in the comments below. I've been your Archangel, the real underscore talent of YouTube. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. Be kind to one another, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.